I don't pretend to be a policy wonk on immigration, nor to have all the answers about issues of public education, health care, and the economy. But I know this, breaking up working families who lived among us for years isn't justice, equity, and compassion in action. Refusing minimal health care to young children does not feel like the way we should treat members of our human family. And having our police forces profile around people isn't behaving, isn't breaking down those walls of tribalism. Creating a huge fence complete with barbed wire across hundreds of miles of border is not the kind of world I want for my children. We must remember that we are all immigrant stock, every single one of us. Even Native Americans came here from Asia in wave upon wave of immigration. Every one of us lives on stolen property. Each and every one of us. Change is coming. Change is here. The future is multicultural and multiracial. But we need not be afraid of change. Instead, let us embrace the wondrous possibilities before us. And let's be guided by love and by hope. Surely, surely a religious people who have learned to embrace the wisdom of Judaism, Christianity, humanism, Islam, and the Eastern religions can help lead the way. We are people who have always affirmed human dignity. We've always looked to the future. And looking into the future, seeing new possibilities. We have to do that again. Let's create that tribe that Alberto Blanco speaks of in today's reading. If I have to belong to some tribe, make it a large tribe. Make it a strong tribe. One in which nobody is left out, in which everybody, for once and for all, has a God-given place. We are not engaged in a political struggle. The issue of immigration is not ultimately about public policy. This is a struggle for a nation's soul. It's a historic conflict between love and hate, between fear and hope, between a dying past and a future that can still be shaped into something wonderful. It's time to take a stand. Let's say no to hatred and fear. Let's stand on the side of love. But even more important, let's create that new, strong tribe that embraces everyone. So may it be. Amen.